Hey everyone, Bill Peluso, Peluso Plays Drums here, back with another video for you today. Thanks to everybody for stopping by the channel and checking out the new video. Today, I want to talk about an exercise from one of my favorite books, which is Progressive Steps to Syncopation for the Modern Drummer by Ted Reed. But first, I gave, gotta give a shout out to Jim Dykus for producing and editing this video for you guys. This is one of my favorite books to use as both a drummer myself and as a teacher. There are so many ways to interpret the exercises and so many lessons to be learned in this book that have applications throughout all kinds of music. If you don't have the book, go ahead and purchase it right now. Seriously. I promise you will not regret it. All right, now let's dive right in. Like I mentioned before in the intro to this video, there are almost an infinite number of ways to interpret and apply the exercises in this book. But today, we are going to focus on just one interpretation. For this interpretation, we are putting everything into triplets and playing it swung. We are going to be playing the written top line in the snare in our left hand, while playing a jazz swing pattern on the ride cymbal in our right hand. In the left hand, we are going to accent all quarter and dotted quarter notes while playing all other notes, like eighth notes, as ghost notes. In the feet, we are going to fill in the spaces between each snare notes. If only one note needs to be filled in, we play it with our left foot hi-hat. If more than one note needs to be filled in, we are going to play the right foot bass drum first, and then the left foot hi-hat and repeat as necessary. In the following clips, I will be demonstrating by playing the first four bars of exercises one through eight.
As you can see by the previous examples, this is quite a four-way independence exercise, really working all four limbs. When you do begin to work on these exercises and this concept in general, please make sure to take it slow and get things down before you progress and move on. Taking this exercise bar by bar or in four bar chunks like I did in the video is a great approach. There are numerous benefits to working on this exercise and taking it slow and in small portions is important to reaping all the rewards of this work. If you have any questions or comments about the exercise or other exercises you like from the book, feel free to message me or hit me up in the comment section. I would love to talk with you about this more. Thank you again for watching and checking out the video. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.